Okay, so I finally got my webcam working. <laughs> it's about time. Uh, I mean, it's not like I haven't been able to get it to work. It's just that I don't want to... I didn't want to show my face in videos until now, so... Yeah, but... Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I manage my wallpapers for Linux. Um, I've seen some pretty crappy ways that people... And bloated ways people have managed their wallpapers, so... I'm going to be showing you the way I manage my wallpapers. So... Gonna go ahead and open up the terminal. And the program I use to manage my wallpapers, or at least set them, is X Wallpaper. And what X Wallpaper is, is it's a program that does one thing and it does it well. It sets a wallpaper. It doesn't view images, it doesn't do anything else. I have a separate image here, X SXIV, that does that. X wallpaper just sets my wallpaper. That is it. It abides to the Unix philosophy as much as it can, and that's why I use it. I like to keep my programs separate. But, anyways, like I said, X wallpaper, you know, does the one thing. I think I think there's other programs here that can set your wallpapers, like I think FEH, however you want to pronounce it. That's, uh, from what I've seen, it's primarily an image viewer. So, I try to stay away from that, but yeah. Anyways, the way I manage my wallpapers is I have a directory um, in .local wallpapers, and this has all my wallpapers in it. I only have seven right now, but I plan to add more as time goes on. But this is all the wallpapers I have right now. And if I want to set one of these as my wallpaper, I can just go ahead and run x, x wallpaper and then give it an argument. In this case, let's do the default center. And I'm going to go ahead and give it just a random one. Let's give it number one. And as you can see, it, go, it changes my wallpaper to first image. And of course, you can mess around with some of the arguments. Like instead of doing center, I could do, uh, let's do stretch, which you can see it kind of changed a little. You can see it kind of changed a little bit, but not that much. I'm gonna go ahead and set a different wallpaper. Uh, of course, you don't. You know, I don't. You don't have to fit your screen exactly. Like I could. I can go ahead and pull up this image right here. Um, do I? Ah, oh, yes. Here we go. And as you can see, this image doesn't even fit my computer screen all the way, but it still sets it as my wallpaper. So. You have a bit of leeway and customizability with how you do this. Uh, of course, you can give it different arguments, like I just showed you. Instead of center, I could do like zoom, and I'll go ahead and zoom in all the way. Or I could give it, uh, let's see, what other option is there? Um, ah, maximize, which if you have oddly shaped or oddly shaped wallpapers, it'll actually fit it to your screen without cropping it. So if I go ahead and do this, you'll see that it'll fit this picture to my screen perfectly without cropping it at all, which is nice if you have weirdly shaped uh, wallpapers. But I think there's, there's also a few other arguments too, like um, you could probably, ah, oh, you can tile it, which, yeah, I don't think that this isn't a good image to tile it with because it's too big, but you can kind of see that it will tile the image to fit your entire screen. So that's nice to have if you have a small wallpaper, like like smaller than your screen itself. But otherwise I don't use it that much. And of course there's also other there's other features you can do with this. Like you can you can set different wallpapers for different monitors or things like that. But like I said, that's one thing, does it well, set your wallpaper. So I have this program uh, in a script, and let me go ahead and show you the script. It's in the local bin wallpapers, and this program wallpapers, as you can see, it's only four lines of shell script, and <laughs> super simple, but I can go ahead and show you what it does. It's, there's three different components. Uh, the first one is the wallpaper directory, which I already showed you is that local wallpapers. There's the wallpaper program, which in this case is X wallpaper zoom. And in this case, I want to be able to zoom it or fit this directly to the screen. 
and cover up 100% of the screen so there's no black parts of it on it. And then there's also the git, wall, git wallpaper variable, which is just the string of pipe commands which get a random wallpaper. And if you can't figure out what it does, it lists the context or lists the contents of the wallpaper directory and then pipes that into sorts, which dash r, which randomly sorts it, and then pipes that into tail negative one, which chooses one of those files to put into X wallpaper. So I actually go ahead and show you. And list the contents of local wallpapers, and it prints out all those. If I type that into sort, capital R, you'll see it'll sort them randomly. So every time I run it, it'll give me a random uh, order of the files, and then I put the tail negative one, and it, tail negative one will choose a random one. Easy as that. So I can go ahead and run the file local bin wallpapers. And it'll go ahead and set a random wallpaper. In this case, the first one. Or in this case, the other one. And of course, I can keep on doing this. But I also have my local bin directory um, in my path variable right here. So I can go ahead and just run wallpapers without any extra parameters and just change my wallpaper. And keep on going through that and just keep on changing that if I want to. Um, and in my opinion, this way of, uh, you know, managing wallpapers is very extensible. And I, as you can see, we have our wallpaper right here, but very extensible, very easy to manipulate, use. Um, and that's what happened. That's what happens when you have programs that abide by the Unix philosophy is you have programs that are easy to manipulate, easy to use. Um, and like, or you can customize your system any way you want. It's really great, but I mean, besides that, oh, I do have, um, of course, when I start my graphical environment up, uh, my window manager, Xorg, whatever you want to call it, um, I do have in my X profile right here is calls wallpapers, which is the script I just showed you, which will automatically set a random wallpaper and as well as, you know, that the X profile will do a few more things too, but that's essentially what it does. And like I guess like doing this is a very nice way, simple way, very bloat free way of doing things. Um, if you know me, I don't like bloated programs like using, like I don't need to use a graphical program for this. No, but <laughs> that's really how I manage my wallpapers. I could probably show you a few other things too, but that's really it. Um, Great way to manage wallpapers. I'll see you whenever.